Okay, so in this video, I'm going to look again at the variance covariance matrix. And I'm just going to take the snippet of R code um, that's available here. We had run, if we just pause, uh, we had previously estimated a variance covariance matrix using this price data for different stocks. This is the example uh, that I originally obtained from Simon Beninga. And the estimation here for getting the variance covariance involves taking, implementing um, matrix operations, so matrix multiplication, transposing matrix, um, and we get a, a variance covariance. Okay, so uh, there are a few steps involved here. This can be done in R. What I like about the Beninga file is it tends to set it up in a way that you can follow the steps. So you take the, uh, get the return of the data, then get the excess returns that you can see here. Um, the return, the returns were obtained using log difference. Then we subtract away the means, we demean, and then we multiply this matrix by itself and we transpose the we transpose one of the matrix matrices just to ensure that the matrix operation works properly okay so can we see this then in r uh, well um okay let's go into the variance covariance for a second and then i come down to r and okay so let's just take this file and it's just r okay so we okay can download the file and it's just an excel file so it'll in initially open and i can download and then i can take the uh, r code and basically we can read in that data cv so data covariance file and then we create an object called prices and then we take prices we can pull out general electric on its own um but for the entirety of the different uh data we create the log difference uh with a lag of one period so that creates a return annual return and then we can ascribe that to portfolio r and then take the covariance of r okay and hopefully we should have the same result so i copy this go into r studio paste and then uh, i suppose set the working directory to the downloads because that's where I downloaded the file so downloads uh, here and okay open uh, because that's where we parked that's where the data VC variance covariance went down to see if you can read it in first of all it uh, cannot open okay so um, I better just check that the file is there Okay, so what I've done is I've taken the data VC out of the downloads and I've put it into a, a folder that shares, that's in this, where the file is shared in the same folder as this particular file here. So this is saved as var covar, I saved this as variance covariance uh, dot r. So I went file new, sugar, file new. R script, then I pasted in the code, then um, I've set the working directory to the source file location. Okay, so the uh, we have the file save as, and I must save in, I've saved it with that my own folder address. Right, so I'll just say, I don't know, 1 1 save. And then also the data VC is in the same folder. Then I go session, set working directory, and to the source file location. So both the data, this file, CSV file, 
and the script are in the same folder. Now if I run, it'll read directly. Because I've set the working directory to the source file, it'll read the data in directly. So the, um, the dates and the prices appear. That's what we've observed before. That's what we have here. Right. And to get the same output, uh, the variance covariance matrix, I can perform the same action in R. Um, I can scrutinize the, the prices. If I run prices, it'll output the prices. If I run prices GE, it'll give the prices of General Electric. So these prices appear here, transposed. And then if I want to get the uh, uh, annual return, because it's annual data, I log difference with a lag of 1. And if I want to see that, you can see I have 0, 5, 6, and 0, 1, 8, and 0, 5, 6. And that you might note is exactly what we have here. Right, so basically, um, for I'm able to generate the log returns, and I verify that by comparing the results here with those in the R script. And then, if I want to do it for the six stocks, so General Electric, Microsoft, Johnson Johnson, Kellogg's, uh, I think it's uh, is it Boeing, and then IBM, and R the notes return log difference return, so continuously compounded return, we can do it for each of these. And they're appearing, you can see here, uh, in the global environment. And uh, we can then put these into the one. So these are lists of data. Uh, we want to put them into the same data frame. So we say portfolio R. And then we can print out that portfolio R. And these uh, returns here are the same as what we would observe here. So this is the return data. Again, in the Excel, I have to get the excess, excess returns. We don't do that in R. In R, I just apply covariance of the matrix. And this is the output. And if we copy that output, just copy, we can see, if we come back in, that we've replicated. We get the same results here. 75822 as here. So the R output and the results we obtained in the uh, Excel spreadsheet are the same. Okay, so the R can, is quite useful then, and we can see what that function. Okay, so Excel is quite useful, but we can see that the co COV here is quite useful in outputting the variance, covariance uh, matrix as well in R.